Hello, hello again guys! C-Sharp tutorial ulit tayo. In this tutorial, we are going to print a specific record using parameter fields in Crystal Report. Gagamitin ko na lang ulit yung ginawa natin last time na simple inventory system. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to create, update, and delete data using C-Sharp and MySQL, I already made a tutorial for that. Just look at the description below for the Link. So, at yung ginawa kong inventory system from our previous tutorials. We already have here a search box, save, update, and delete button. And now, we're going to add a print function. Add lang tayo ng another button. Button for printing. Pangalanan natin siyang DTN print. Change the label. Print. Every time na click natin tong print button, magsishow yung crystal report viewer. So, nandun lahat ng data ng specific record na gusto natin i-print. Okay. Let's add a new item. This time, dito tayo sa reporting. Click the reporting button. Yan. Crystal reports. If ever na hindi pa kayo nakapag-install ng crystal reports, Nasa description din yung link ng tutorial kung paano mag-install ng Crystal Reports. Alright? Pangalanan natin yung report. Medicine Report .rpt. Click Add. Choose Blank Report. Dito sa Field Explorer, Click the parameter fields. Right click and hit new. We will create a new parameter. But before that, let's go back to form 1. Check natin yung mga text boxes. We have here name, price, and quantity. Yan yung gagawa natin ng parameter. Balik tayo sa medicine report. Parameter fields. New. The first one is the name of the medicine. Med underscore name na lang. Yung type, string. List of values, static. Click OK. Next, let's add another one. For the price, name, med underscore price. Type, number, list of values, Still static. Last one, quantity. Name, med underscore qty or quantity. Type, string. List of values, static pa rin. Okay. The drag and drop lang natin yung mga fields dito sa report. Dito. Sa details. Itong nasa page header, we can modify that actually. Double click nyo lang, then modify. You can also change the font, color, and many more here in the properties panel. Save, control S. Next, I'm going to add another form. Add new Windows form, name, um, print report dot CS na lang. Next, dito sa toolbox, mag-add tayo ng Crystal Report Viewer under the Reporting tab. Here, double click. Yan. Just hit this small right arrow, then click. Choose a crystal report. Piliin nyo lang dyan yung ginawa nyo report. Ito yung sa akin, medicinereport.rpt. Yung report viewer na yan kasi yung magdi-display ng ginawa natin sa mismong medicine report. Next, we will set this to public. Punta lang tayo sa properties. Look for modifiers. Then, i-public nyo lang. Hindi kasi siya makikita sa Form 1 kapag 
naka-private. E i-call natin siya doon. So, kailangan natin siyang i-public. Hindi natin magagawa yung report pag ganon, di ba? So, okay na? Balik tayo sa form1.cs. Dito muna tayo sa upper part. Simply add the following codes. Import lang tayo. Hindi kasi natin magagamit yung crystal report kapag hindi natin inimport tong mga modules na to or tong mga classes. So, type nyo lang using crystaldecisions.crystalreports.engine semicolon Next line, using crystaldecisions.shared semicolon again. Done. Balik tayo sa event handler. Create tayo ng object. Call lang natin yung ginawa nating report. Medicine report yon di ba? So, medicine report, then variable name, or report 1. Yan. Report 1 is equal to new medicine report, then open and close parenthesis, semicolon. Same with print report form. Call lang din natin siya, print report, then variable, oh, print form na lang, print FRM, is equal to new print report, open and close parenthesis, then semicolon. Next, magsaset na tayo ng parameter values. Ang iko-call naman natin ngayon ay yung report1 variable. Report1 dot uh, set parameter value, then open and close parenthesis, semicolon. So, ang ilalagay natin sa loob, dito muna sa una, ay yung name ng parameter field. So, nakapaloob siya sa double quotes. Ang unahin natin ay yung medicine name. Yun muna. O, balik tayo sa form1. Ito yung i-display natin dun sa report, ba? Medicine name, yung price, and yung quantity. So, medicine name muna. Kung ano yung ipinangalan nyo dun sa parameter field, yun din yung ilalagay nyo dyan. So, med underscore name. Ito. O, yun din yung ilalagay nyo dyan. Then, comma, next is yung name ng text box kung saan niya kukunin yung value. So, ito yan. Ano ba yung name ng text box na to? txtname.txt O, yan yung ilalagay natin. So, okay na. O, next. Yung price naman, o, copy-paste na lang natin. Yung name ng parameter field, med underscore price. Then, the name of the text box. So, txt price.text Last one, medicine quantity. Yung name ng parameter field, med underscore qty. And yung name ng text box, txt qty.text Okay na? Set lang natin yung source or yung panggagalingan ng report or data. Call natin yung variable print form or print frm. It holds the crystal report viewer, right? So, print form dot crystal report viewer 1. Yan yung name ng report viewer, di ba? Crystal report viewer 1. Dot report source is equal to or report 1. Sa so report 1, manggagaling yung data, di ba? Next. So, the last thing that we need to do is to show the print report form. A call lang ulit natin si print form o print form dot show. Open and close parenthesis then semicolon. Save. Let's try. Or run. Pipindutin ko tong uh, diatabs. Okay, so naka-display na yung infos niya. Nasa text boxes na, dapat, once na-click ko tong print button, mapapasa ngayon yung laman ng text boxes na yan dun sa report na ginawa natin. At yun yung magdi-display kapag nag-show na yung print report form. Wait natin. Okay. 
Ito yung name, o, diatabs. Price, 10, quantity, 150. Okay. Another one, close muna natin yung print report form. Biogesic naman. Click print. Okay. Name Biogesic price 12, quantity 150. Oh, that's it. Simple lang, di ba? Sana ay nakatulong ulit ako sa inyo, guys. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.